revealing it. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. It is all glued in place, and this is a story. The story of a young lad, okay, okay, young man, <laughs> with his horse and his dog on the farmyard. And I just hope you really like The wood is underlayment from <laughs> when we redid our kitchen floor. And believe me, it takes the glue. I had to make sure that like wallpaper, once I laid it, I made sure there are no bubbles underneath. So I used some rags to you know, make sure that I got it well pressed down, but I, I was a little, because I got plenty of Elmer's on there, so I wanted to make sure I didn't tear it too. But this is a good, hardy, thick paper, so. There's a lot of wood showing through. I wanted that. So here is my folk art that I will be putting on a wall that you guys can see when I go through a room. So <laughs> and then I can see when I go through a room. I didn't do anything between these flowers. I might yet before he once it's dry and before he varnishes over it. That's the trouble when you do this stuff is you can find things that are starting to get bubbles. You have to kind of keep at it like wallpaper. <laughs> but you can see the layers. They are they're not floating around now. Now they're stuck down so the layers are you can see them but they're not they're not shuffling <laughs> so I hope you like the story that we together we made we didn't write it we made it and I am so proud of it I'm proud of all of you for keeping with me through the whole thing and giving me some pointers or saying, oh I like that there like with the horse, you all really liked it. The dog, you loved the proximity to the dog. You really gave me some kudos on the way through that helped me decide, yeah, that really does go there. I took the chicken out, and I don't regret that one bit, and I don't think any of you will either. We had problems with from that with that chicken. From the, I see these edges, and I just feel, think, uh-oh, something's coming up. It's not. It's really stuck down. That's, I guess, what you call the three-dimensional effect of it. So I'm hoping that's what we'll show, is that there are three dimensions in this. I'm setting this up. Sorry. Trying to find a good place for it. Okay, instructions said to wipe it down with a dry cloth. Oh, what's this? I don't know. It says wipe it down with a dry cloth to get all the oils off. Any remaining oil. It said to clamp it down first, but I gotta find out if this will work. Oh, I don't know. Deeper than I thought. There's more of an edge on this table than I thought, so I may not need the little wooden wedge. Oh, heck no, that's clamping down good. Oh, good. <laughs> I thought this was just, you know, I didn't realize there was so much stuff under there. Now that's good because I'm glad there is. Alright, then attach the crank. Okay, this way. And then it says roll. Roll a small amount of clay to get any dirt off.
Oh yeah, look, you see? There was a little bit of dirt in there. Yeah, I'm glad I did. Uh, glad I followed those instructions. Roll that one more time just to be sure. That didn't show up the first time. At least I didn't see it. Okay, got the dirt off, I think. Should I go one more? I think I'll go one more. Because I want to make sure it's clean for when I do something. For real. Okay, that looks pretty clean. Huh. I'll use that for some base or something. Now we have a roller. La -da 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 -da. <laughs> Let me try another setting here. That brings it closer. That brings it farther. Ah. Uh. This piece that I had yesterday, I'm going to see how it rolls out. Oh, anyway, I need a chair. <laughs> oh, I need a chair. Holy cow. That's nice. Is there an even wider setting? Oh, that's going tighter. I guess there's only the two. Bad. Not bad at all. That's the widest. That's the widest. Okay. It's a little thin for my plates. But maybe not so bad. I do still have my rolling pin, but I wanted it to be this. I wanted to use this. Could be uh, my expectations are higher than what I actually need. <sighs> well, anyway. Maybe a larger piece of clay would have a little more room to expand but I like it that'd be nice for some smaller things well I hope you enjoyed all that since everything we're doing with the clay is either as a gift or something but a lot of the stuff that we're keeping for fun not for sale like the zoo and stuff. I think it's just fine up here. I want to talk Joe into seeing if he can make that shelf a little wider, which I know he can. It's just that's what he had at the moment. So that they're a little deeper. So that we can then get more stuff on there. 
I want to get up the best pieces. And I said, well, I won't keep the cap. I'll, I'll get rid of, I'll put the uh, cap somewhere else. <laughs> There's your bird. Our bird. Oh, purple people eater. I'll just put him kind of in his own little place. You know, but he'll be on the shelf. He'll just be in his own little spot. <laughs> he doesn't fit the zoo, but he's fun. <laughs> this is a much, much better day. The much better results than yesterday's little bit of a rant. It wasn't, I don't know if it was a rant or if I was just trying to laugh at the whole thing, but I'm just glad that's over. <laughs> and today I feel I'm accomplished. I've accomplished something. We've accomplished something. That decoupage, that, that story of that farm boy, wow. And you guys, you really did help me with that because it was oh, I really like this, or mm, a little bit, you know, the chicken's a little big, or maybe you wouldn't, you'd just nicely not say something. <laughs> and I'd say, okay, they're not liking that very much because <laughs> they're avoiding saying anything about it. <laughs> so, but I decided, I made the executive decision to take the chicken out because it just didn't fit. And I really think it's turned out to be a beautiful piece that I'm going to put on a display, uh, display on my wall in there. I'll decide on which wall. <laughs> I haven't figured that out yet. Please do subscribe. Click that notification bell. Ding, ding. And give me a thumbs up. Give yourself a thumbs up. <laughs> I like to go either way. Give yourselves a thumbs up for all the help you gave me on that picture. And the help you've given me on this zoo for telling me what you'd like to see me make. And for even the rebuilds. <laughs> and the facelifts on there. And we got more to do. We've got lots more to do. <laughs> so, we will see you Friday. I love you all. Good night. <laughs>